Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I'm your host, Blaine, and today we're picking up with some more Kenchi. Looking out as the breakers head on out to the military outpost, manned by the Holy Nation. Fox is proud of everything we've accomplished so far. The food supply for the Holy Nation has been drastically reduced. Their supply lines are diminishing. And at least one outpost has already been taken out. Maybe not by them, but still something worth of note. This next outpost is going to be different than last time. We're prepared. We've thought of a plan and we're going to execute it properly. We're not going to run in haphazardly and pick a fight when we're not expecting one. Our goal for today is to lure as many of them away as we can, knock them unconscious, and bring them back as prisoners before assaulting once more. Our base is close enough that we can do this several times over without it taking too long. The primary goal in all of this is to reduce the Holy Nation's strength without hurting ourselves. One of the very interesting things about the Breakers, there are two separate groups actually. One was the Kit's mercenaries that were hired for the swamp, but turned out to be bodyguards and now part of the assault squad. And the other is our homegrown defense team. The people that have been with us since near the beginning. They've explored the entire world with us almost at this point. It's nice to see them all working together. It's nice to see a group formed that's tight-knit and strong. The outpost lies just ahead. Let's plan our assault. Okay, so now that we are a little bit closer, let's get everybody up here. We're gonna actually kind of move up onto the southern wall over here. Oh, hey, guess what? I lied. I guess we're just gonna fight right now because there's some Holy Nation patrols right here. <laughs> All right, so that's an interesting way to start this. This is actually good. This actually is very helpful for us. Uh, you know, obviously not a great starting position for us, but we'll be able to take these guys out pretty easily. This is actually really good that we guys caught, we caught these guys right out here. Um, this patrol is actually one of the ones that I was worried about because it did have a couple different paladins in it, and I'm glad to see it go down now. We're gonna go ahead and pick people up before they have time to get up themselves. That is part of our plan this time around. No extra combat. <laughs> and just like that, we have six of their team members down. One of them being a high paladin, two paladins, and three holy servants. That was a pretty good catch. Now, obviously, that wasn't perfect for us because we took a few hits that I would rather have not taken. But that's a small price to pay for taking one of the patrols completely out of, offline. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run back to our base with these prisoners, put them away, and then we'll come right back. Meanwhile, Ryoko and the group are going to move forward. So let's go ahead and do all of that. All right. So on the way back, we managed to just in time get ourselves into stealth mode because just around the corner is another patrol, another high paladin, two paladins and four holy servants. So this time we're not going to let them slip by like they did before or attack us in ambush. We're going to ambush them this time. We have our group nearby. We can go ahead and try and fight them. So Ryoko and Bash have the ability to attack in broad daylight, in stealth. We're going to try and take out the High Paladin and one of the Paladins immediately, and then ambush with the rest of our people, because that will leave them greatly weakened. So let's go ahead and do that. So Ryoko is our better person. So Ryoko, ooh, actually, maybe not. 72% chance only. Well, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We're going to go in real time because we can maybe even get two of the other people. Now, while they're doing that, we should have everyone else kind of moving up a bit because we do want them nearby. So these guys are very, very skilled in stealth. So <laughs> a little bit cheating, pretty much, if you, if you actually ask me. The, the way stealth is in this game is quite broken, but I, I'm going to go ahead and just take it because you know what this game has some pretty rough fights so if we can take them <laughs> this is great uh, all right dunk and there is everyone knocked out now 
That was fun. We're going to go ahead and pick up the High Paladin. Boop. Go ahead and pick up one of the other Paladins. Boop. And that's actually a pretty good start. So we're going to go ahead and run back to our base now and drop these people off into some cages. Having returned back to the outpost, the Breakers are now ready to assault the garrison. The patrols have both been ambushed, and it is just those two patrols as far as I know. Their research indicated only two patrols, so that should be all that they have to deal with. Now all that's left is what's inside the outpost. Now, from our last look, we do remember that there are mounted crossbows and people manning them, so we do need to be careful. So for our plan today, for actually assaulting the outpost itself, we're going to try and get a little bit closer and take a look. Oh, actually, I guess we could see everything from right here. This actually works out. So we have a person on the crossbow up here. We have, I swear there was someone over here before. It looks like they might have moved. Yeah, that's good for us. And then there was somebody up top here before. Actually, there were two people up top over on this side before. And they both seem to be gone. So I think their actual outpost numbers are being dwindled down just a little bit. So we should be able to assault without having all of their people come out right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everybody, get everyone into stealth and see how their stealth numbers are. So some people are really good and some people are just awful. Shigar, get that stealth up. <laughs> oh, he has negative 74 to his stealth because of his equipment. So that's not really his fault. Well, let's just kind of move on down and see what we can do from over here. Now, I'm not too worried about if people chase us out because what we can do is we can retreat, which is actually part of our plan, is retreat and reform back up near our base. Because if anybody follows us to our base, we're going to obliterate them. So that's not a problem. Let's take somebody with real stealth like Ryoko and Bash and move up. So let's take a look and see what we actually have here at the gate. So at the gate, we have a Holy Sentinel. We have an injured Holy Sentinel. Another Holy Sentinel, Holy Sentinel, and another very injured Holy Sentinel. Wow. Okay, so two of their gate guards are actually severely injured, and I'm not really sure why. What's someone running in there doing? Let's see what they're doing. What are you doing? Going to bed. Oh, well, that makes sense. It is getting kind of late, so maybe we'll wait till nightfall. Oh, hold up. What do we got here? Oh, check this out, guys. What good timing. All right, you know, we're just going to hang back. We're going to let them do their thing. I'm perfectly okay with this. Okay, so I don't want to get involved in this yet. I want to kind of hang out and wait. So let's take a look and make sure there's no other Fogmen. I don't want to get caught by one of the Fogmen patrols because they can be massive. I've seen one that had like 40 people in it, so that was something I do not want to deal with. Man, these Fogmen are no joke either. I think their stats are pretty solid. They're not like amazing or anything, and their gear isn't the best, but they have some solid stats. All right, so Ryoko and Bash can see everything from here. Do they have people on the crossbows now firing? Yeah, I see someone up on the crossbow up here. So the Fogmen are, you know, doing a decent job, actually. They're starting to go down, but they kind of messed up the Holy Sentinels. I'm going to try something. This is going to be super duper risky, but I feel like I kind of want to try it. I think I'm going to send Ryoko and Bastion to try and take out these guards up here. If we can do that, that's two more people completely. Well, how are they so injured? This is very, they must be under like constant attack from the Fogmen. Yeah, they're all injured here. So this entire fortress must be getting attacked. Whoa, hold up. Glad I saw that. Um, Nope. Two high paladins mount. Shouldn't they be up front? <laughs> Two high paladins hiding in the back on crossbows. Oh, another one over here too. Jeez. Okay, so they have a lot of people on these turrets, which makes sense. Yep, another one over here. Okay, so now that we're actually right here, they have a lot of people manning these turrets. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This is semi-stupid, actually. This might really backfire on us, but we're going to try and get inside this building here. We're going to try and stealth in. See if we can get in without being seen at all. Oh, I think Bash was seen. All right, I just wanted to see what's in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this guy. Sir, that's not how you sleep. Okay, I just kind of wanted to get in here and see what's actually in here. 
So they have high paladin, another paladin, a bed. Come on, select that guy. Come on, suit he is. Paladin. And that's with on top having the paladin up here and the other paladin. Okay. Perfect. Now, this was stupid. Don't get me wrong. I fully know that what I did here was not the smartest idea, but I wanted to generally see what's inside here because we've never been inside, so I didn't know what their forces were like. Destroy the heretics. Okay, so they should be fine now. I think everyone's shooting at the fogmen. What if we help the fogmen? I'm going to try something. This is potentially really stupid, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and knock out. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can actually get out of here now. <laughs> so I... Oh, okay, everyone's fighting. We're, this this turned out sideways, naturally. Because why would this go smoothly? Run. Everyone run. Run away. Except for this guy. This guy's going to stay in fight. Oh, hold up. Something just took damage. Oh, guy okay, have crossbow. Wait, hold on. What do they have on crossbow up here? One... Just the one up here. Hmm. It still does a lot of damage, so I don't want to be near that. Let's see, is there anybody over here with the crossbow? No. So if we go over here, we should be able to get out of the crossbow range. Oh, Bash got. Why is everyone going slow? Because Bash. Hmm. Can Ryoko any chance go stealth? And just knock this guy out? Nope. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to fight this guy. What is going on? Hello, hello. Hello. Get out of the crossbow range. That crossbow hurts. <laughs> Why is no one attacking this guy? I don't understand. There we go. Get Bash. Yeah, you, you can fight this guy too, I guess. Oh, wow, Bash, your leg is like really messed up. Heal that. Hope you won't get hit in the back of the head of the crossbow while you're sitting here. Is that more Fogman? That is... Ooh, here we go. Oh, so that's what's going on. Okay, so we just witnessed the exact events that are taking place over here. So the Fogmen all the way over here seem to have a patrol. And what's happening is these people in the crossbows up here, they're shooting them. So they engage. Otherwise, they'd run right past, actually. So this is awesome for us. We're going to hang out. I'm actually going to let a little bit of time pass before we actually do anything. And I'm going to see if these Fogmen can harass... The holy nation enough for us to get in safely because i mean they're taking the fogmen down pretty good but the fogmen are getting some hits in clearly because you know everyone inside is damaged a little bit now the paladins are way better than these guys so they might not actually do anything what is this that guy said <laughs> they, they built a crossbow down here to shoot me jerks Okay, so that guy finally left the crossbow position up there, and Ryoko can now sneak in. He was targeting her, so she wasn't able to actually sneak in at all. Let's see what we got going on here. So these guys are going to be wake up eventually. I need to make sure I don't get caught by one of the Hiver people, the Fogmen. I need to make sure I take down some of these people on crossbows. Well, let's get Ryoko inside and see if she can actually stealth KO anyone. What's going on down here? Oh, that's actually not a good situation to be in. Um, I may not actually want to do this. Hey, oh, can she get that guy? Make sure her stealth stays. Her stealth goes away. We need to get out of here. There we go. Take that guy. Kidnap. And let's get out of here. And that should be a successful kidnapping. A holy sentinel yeah holy sentinel so that's two more holy sentinels that we have down uh, she's gonna put him down and we're gonna have new pick up this guy pick up this guy <laughs> there we go okay now, New, actually, the reason why I'm having New pick him up, for everyone that's wondering, is New has amazing stats. He's one of our better frontline fighters. He can actually handle the encumbrance, too. So he's not even encumbered with that guy on his shoulder. 
back at their base here. I'm trying to wait for an opportunity. Um, it's the next morning and pretty much nothing has changed. Everyone's been kind of stationary and static, which is kind of a bummer because day and night they're all here. No one's going to sleep, which is really unfortunate. I was hoping that sleep would come and they would change shifts or something, but they didn't do that. Now what I'm hoping for is that this Fogman over here, I'm hoping he draws their attention at some point. He hasn't yet, but I want them to run out from the gate because if they do that, then I can run in and try and do a stealth attack. <laughs> this guy's just running out in circles. <laughs> That's interesting. Is he going to do anything? No. I have an idea. So we're going to try and we're going to try and knock these two out. Now, I'm not exactly expecting it to work, but I want it to. Um, so Yankee on that guy, Ryoko on that guy. Let's see if this works. If we can get even one of them knocked out. No way. Did that just work for both of them? So Ryoko, kidnap that guy. Ryoko, what are you doing? Yay, kidnapping. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That could not have gone better. So we'll head back over here to the rest of the group. All right, and it looks like we have somebody trying to pick a fight with us. We have, who's this guy? Paladin. Well, let's see if Bash can still knock this guy out. Oh, hold on, is everyone at 0%? Let's see if anybody can knock this guy out. <laughs> let's see here. Aw, oh, no one gets a knockout. That is actually extremely helpful to us. So go ahead and pick that guy up. Yoink. And we're going to bring those people back to our base, and then we'll be right back. So just as Yankee, Smasher, and Basher made it back, we actually have a caravan arriving here at the outpost. Now, they're actually they're leaving. I take that back. They're leaving. They must have came and gone when I was actually off screen. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just a Holy Nation wandering trader along with his guards. These are actually the same ones that we actually fought, or were almost fought, at one of the mines. So I kind of honestly want to take these guys out. We're going to try and sneak up on these guys. Wait, there's four of them. I sent three people. That's not how math works. Uh, who can reduce some gear? All right, you're up. How bad is our stealth? What is What drops our stealth so bad? Oh, right. Really heavy boots. That would probably do it. Shigari, you're up too. All right, Operation Stealth Caravan Takeout, go. Well, we got three of them. <laughs> Poor Bash. Bash is just so injured that he doesn't even have a chance. Okay, you know, Ryoko, how about you just go take that guy out? <laughs> and Bash, you can just come pick somebody up with your broken leg. All right, that worked out. Well, at least so far. Can't imagine it's going to go south from here. It could, but I doubt it. <laughs> the bull just turns around. He's like, I don't know what to do. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's get out of here. We're going to go ahead and bring them back to base, and then we'll be right back. So once more, we're taking a look at the outpost, and we've reduced their numbers by quite a lot at this point. If we go ahead and take a look, we can see that even their basic guards, like their numbers are dwindling at this point. I think the only people they really have left are the people actually on manned turrets and stuff. Um, everyone else is pretty much either on bed rest or there's this poor guy that's just standing out here by himself. I'm going to see if I can get Ryoko in. Well, actually, let's try something. This is always fun. Dunk. I don't know if that's going to actually work out that way, but I want to get inside here. So inside here, yeah, this is what I want to take a peek at. So they have a bunch of people here sleeping still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to try something. This is going to be probably the riskiest thing. <laughs> We're going to try and kidnap the High Paladin. <laughs> uh, as of this moment, it looks like it's going to work. So we're going to have Bash kidnap the guy at the door here. Well, Ryoko takes that guy away. Come on, Bash, get there. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, what? Warning. Mighty Canhead. 
What was that warning? Hold up. We just got a unique warning. A mighty... Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to return back to base now, everyone. Uh, unstealth, let's get back to base. I have no idea what that warning is. I've never seen that before. But anything with a mighty in front of the name, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take seriously. Especially seeing as we are out in Holy Nation lands. Is that paladins or is that... Nope, that's just bandits. I don't care about bandits. Okay, so now that we're back at the base, I kind of want to show you guys how I do this. So this is something that I've had a couple questions on, and I want to show you guys how to do this and how to do this efficiently. So what I did is I built a prison. Now, you guys saw me build the building with, you know, some of the prisons and everything, but I've been building these in, you know, my downtime. So that way we had a whole bunch of cages for this assault. And you can even build them while you're assaulting. Honestly, with how quickly these get built and how long assault can take, you can always be building your cages while you're assaulting. So this is my two empty slots that are about to be filled. They're going to go ahead and run over here. Well, okay, Ryoko decided to stop for whatever reason. Ryoko, put them in. Boop. So now we have them in the cages. Once they're in the cages, it doesn't matter who it is in your party. You can have somebody, what I do, I have X16 right here, is I have X16 run over here, and he has a large backpack. Now, I generally recommend putting this on somebody that's actually, you know, not an integral part of the party because they can just be focused on doing this. You can even put them on passive so that way they're not like involved with any of the other stuff. They just stay in here and do this. And what you do is you just right click and hold and then you just go to loot. Now, this allows you to just completely clear out their inventory without having them knocked out or anything like that. Once they're in prison cages, you can just do this as freely as you want and as quickly as you want. So you go through and just have them loot all the gear. The reason why you take the large backpack is it's so big it can fit any weapon. So that's kind of the big thing. With a lot of the backpacks, you don't actually have a big enough, like a wide enough backpack where the big weapons can fit in it. So it's worth grabbing a large backpack. Once you have everybody's gear, what I do is I build an item furnace right next to my prison. And I mean like right next to it. So that way, whoever you have inside with the large backpack, you can actually just select the item furnace and then push I and you bring up your inventory and you can just smelt all the gear down from right here. Now, obviously, sometimes you're going to want to keep some of the gear depending on your setup. We have enough good stuff that we actually don't need any of this stuff. So I just sit here and melt it all down while sitting here. Now, we actually have a few decent pieces of gear that we got out of that run. So I'm not actually going to smelt all of it down. So as you guys can see, this is kind of what I'm going to leave in my inventory right now. Um, I actually take that gear and I put in one of the assault spiders. But it honestly works with anything. You can actually just do a general storage or whatever. If you want to do something similar to this, what you could do is build a bunch of general storage boxes right out here and put the items in there as well and then just transfer them over as you see fit. But I think this is fine. I can hold on to this stuff. I don't plan on doing any more assaulting at the moment. So he can sit with the gear in his inventory. It's not that big of a deal. I'll actually transfer it over to one of the spiders. So I just transfer everything over so that way he's holding on to nothing. And then he's just going to continuously take the items off of the prisoners. And that completely frees up their gear so that way they're all completely naked. So if something happens and they escape or, you know, you want to try and execute them or whatever, you can. This way we have a full prison with everyone being completely naked and it's very quick, very efficient. Now, that brings us to our current dilemma. We are apparently going to get assaulted by something, so let's take a look at the map and see if we can see what it is. Okay, so this might actually be a little more serious than I thought. I just noticed this one down here, and I was like, oh, it's a raid. Okay, no big deal. But then I also saw over here in the Fogland area, there's a red dot on the way to our base too. This is a lot more serious than I was giving it credit for. So we are going to do something. We're going to prepare to fight at our base a real onslaught we're gonna get everybody inside and i mean everybody this time we're gonna prepare ourselves for an actual siege so i'm gonna do that off screen and when we come back we will be defending our base our first really big siege presumably here at our military outpost in the holy lands we have taken down at least half of that military base i'm actually thinking based on the numbers that i originally saw i think we took them down a little over 
probably two thirds. They had huge numbers in the beginning. And currently we captured what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 people, 10 of which were initially at that base. So we hurt their numbers pretty bad. That was a really successful first assault. And when we come back, we'll see how bad these uh, assaults are on our base. Hopefully not too bad, enough to where we can just continue our assault. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.